All right, so we got Robocop Rogue City hands-on preview. Let's go right to the video. We're reacting to the trailer. Wait a minute, this actually looks all right. Over 35 years since he first stomped the streets of Detroit, Robocop returns to the front Wait a minute, lines. this actually looks Your pretty good. Creep. Taeyeon, the studio Creep. behind Terminator Resistance and Rambo the video game, is primed for its most ambitious 80s action movie revival yet. Set between the events of Robocop 2 and 3, with Peter Weller reprising his iconic role, Robocop Rogue City takes us back to old Detroit is that once the game? again to clean up the street. Whoa, that looked, really, that looked really good, bro. That was the game? ...of explosive violence and the franchise's gloriously stilted cheesy humor. Allowing dealers to steal from each other may result in less drugs on the street. What? That would suck. Rogue City <laughs> is a bloody first-person shooter that takes us on an authentic. That actually looks Alex pretty Murray's cool. I can't lie. Wants to chase little the aimbot, crap. but obviously it's RoboCop, so it makes sense if it's a little aimbot. Written by Emma Matthews. Shout out to you, Emma Matthews. Rogue City opens with a now familiar satirical news segment, which is interrupted by a gang of punky thugs dubbed the oh, Torchheads. Oh no. This band of criminals is heavily tied to Nuke, the highly addictive narcotic from Robocop 2, and they proceed to take the Channel 9 news team hostage. Enter Detroit's shiny Robocop and his partner, Agent Ann Lewis, who are called to quell the Ann disturbance Lewis. and hunt down the gang's leader. How this you being doing? Robocop, restoring peace is done with little subtlety. Armed with his legendary Auto 9, Robocop trudges methodically his no building, popping enemy skulls with each well aimed shot. Despite his slow tank like movement, I've never played an FPS with a protagonist as slow and deliberate as Robocop. Really? It took some time to adjust. He feels practically indestructible. He's I mean, so he is armed, Robocop. He doesn't need to hide behind cover. He just soaks up bullets like a sponge. And if he runs low on ammo, no problem. Just walk up to the nearest criminal and punch a hole oh in Oh my face. god. As such, Rogue City immediately makes you feel like a boss level threat. And none of its early enemies really stood a chance against me on normal difficulty. Robocop I mean, yeah, you are a Robocop. That's the thing, though. I, I like how they made him kind of indestructible. That makes sense. Abilities, you can sweep and clear the surroundings with ease. While this combat loop was satisfying for a couple of hours, I do question the longevity of it all. Robocop will only get more powerful as the game progresses, and in the brief time I had with the demo, I didn't face a single enemy that posed a real threat. So where does the challenge come from? Hopefully that will become apparent when we spend more time I mean, time it's just with dudes with guns. This is regular human beings with guns. It's not like he's going against, like, other, you know, robots or another Robocop. After a fiery first meeting with the Torchheads, I got a brief look at how Rogue City will tackle Robocop's other duties. Alongside fights to the death with the main gang, you take on investigative objectives to poke around for clues at crime scenes and make arrests. Robocop has no reservations about taking out hostile foes in one fell swoop, but some of Rogue City's side quests have him restore an order by more peaceful means. In one case, I could choose a non-threatening dialogue option to convince a suspect to part with valuable information about their whereabouts of a drug dealer, okay. rather than making him cooperate so violence isn't the only route you can take when chasing leads i mean you're a cop so quest, like my main contribution was simply carrying a drunk perp to a cell as a favor to another police officer Furthermore, okay public trust is earned by interacting with detroit's inhabitants and there's a skill tree option that allows you to open up new dialogue choices to aid in your investigations that man detroit drunk he slept like a city in distress the disheveled buildings and grimy streets are ripped straight from the movies and the delinquents that lurk on street corners are delinquents I love that word. Listen closely enough, and you'll pick up splinters of conversations that, when you piece them together, may provide clues about where to lead the investigation next or open up new side objectives. Rogue City is built in Unreal Engine 5, and despite a few frame drops it looks really good. in the preview build I played, its gloomy alleyways and neon soaked shop fronts look slick and Boy, detailed. look at the street, y'all. Robocop himself looks fantastic, too. Taeyon has taken great care to recreate in every grill and compartment on his suit, and the city lights gleam on his armor when you stop to talk to other Boy, characters. that looks sick. Even I can't lie. That, that looks sick, bro. The doesn't quite hit right. Noticeable camera shake and the heavy thud of Robocop's footsteps made me feel like a hefty tank when I was stomping through the streets. Oh yeah, I can't lie. That. That's a good effect, though. He is the type who likes to mix things up. We shall have to see. Fans will immediately recognize other returning characters like Anne Lewis, but the majority of character models aren't anywhere near as realistic as Robocops. The Torchheads have a selection of different hairstyles and outfits to differentiate them, but you won't be paying much attention to their attire when you're courted a firefight anyway. 
This yeah. rogue city is a grubby and authentic step into Paul Verhoeven's dystopian Detroit, and it springs to life on your patrols. Between quests, you can use RoboVision to scan for nearby misdemeanors like traffic Robo violations and disorderly conduct to ensure you clean up every nook and cranny of the city as you go. You know what? If you really think you'll find evidence of that SUX ever being here, then be my guest. Although Robocop is still bound by his prime directives, I enjoyed the few occasions I was able to work around them to suit the kind of Robocop I wanted to be. One side quest had me handling complaints at the police station, where I had the chance to decide whether to side with the individual or issue a ticket. In situations where things I'm giving them a violent, ticket. players will sometimes have the option to take a pacifist approach. There's certainly room for empathy in your interactions with the people in Detroit, and keeping them happy will increase your public trust score. Nonetheless, I don't in care the about few public investigations trust. I've conducted so far, I was still met with plenty of opportunities to exercise Robocop's silly humor, and sometimes that means being a little heavy-handed. For example, during one quest, I had the chance to utter a stiff one-liner before smashing up someone's radio because it was too loud. Was this unnecessary? Definitely. Yeah. But justice was served. That's the metal freak. Robocop starts with a few base abilities, including night vision, a shockwave that mimics a flashback. Hey, he and better have night vision. That man's a robot. Time to clear a room. Quicker. He better have and night vision. Science, scans the surroundings to highlight nearby enemies to make them easier to spot. And he can also move faster, shifting from a slow, deliberate stomp to a heavy. Hey, but like this walk. look way more like fluid, if that makes sense. To improve their because in the trailer, it was looking, it was looking a little lethal. stiff, bro. For example, continuing to invest points in the combat branch of the skill tree eventually buffs Robocop shockwave to instant right, kill just, enemies whereas he would just spray and pray bro suit so it deflects bullets to damage enemies robocop's oh, 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 oh. Auto 9 what did he have in his hand upgrades that are unlocked throughout the game's 20 to 30 hours that was sick i like that didn't get to see any of these enhancements in action players can also pick up firearms dropped by the city's lawbreakers and use them for a limited time however i typically stuck with the auto 9 due to its reliability and unlimited ammo there are also exploding barrels hefty crt monitors he had and the way that fling around rogue cities destructible that has unlimited all of which ammo as well as makeshift grenades i only encountered human enemies during the day Demo, a couple of whom wore helmets for extra protection, and some that carried exploding barrels. But more recognizable enemies, including ED-209, who featured in the trailer, won't appear until later in the game. There's no escaping Robocop's trigger-happy approach, and nor would you want to, but ultimately he's still a police officer instated to uphold the law. As yeah. such, there are several skills that build on Robo's eagle eye and lightning speed processing powers, which come in handy when you're searching for clues. Some objects and... So they're still giving you... The, I mean, they're still making you during an be a police officer. That makes sense. instances where you need to pause and collect a specific number of clues to analyze crime scenes. This is where Robo's deduction Ooh, what happened and engineering to her? skills shine. Okay, did not have the zoom. Okay. Enhanced scan and abilities, which help you detect more useful information such as safe combinations. Then if you've leveled up your engineering skills enough, you can crack open the safes themselves. Arguably the most interesting side of Robocop is his psychology branch, which leans into the game's choice system. Investing enough in the skills doubles your public trust points and later lets you predict the consequences of certain dialogue choices. According to the developer, the decisions you make for Okay, the man, why did you show her, bro? Ended, she is dead. We're not sure to what extent just yet. Rogue City's She's game gone. director says that some choices will determine which side characters Please are live or die, up. but we'll have to wait to see how much of an impact this has on the story. Your choices also have consequences that may surface sooner than that. These can be almost really? immediate, such as coaxing out information that provides. I don't care about the media. So right, come on. Subtle ripples later on. For example, let's that it looks off hard, bro. The way the light is flashing off his suit. Mention scrawled on a city wall down the line, opposed to something hostile. One thing that Rogue City doesn't shy away from is Robocop's flashbacks to his life as Alex Murphy. This surfaces almost immediately as an ongoing malfunction and it's something OCP is eager to fix. This side of Robocop is clumsily handled in the movies and never truly reaches a satisfying resolution by the end of the second film. But the game's developer assured me that this will be an important part of Rogue City's story. Combined with the well, they just, well, they and just, and just shooting this man? Like, to see how they're just shooting this man, bro. Human fragments it's not fair. Memories, and yeah, like four people just, just straight up just shoot him. Time around. That's Overall, tough. Rogue City has the makings of a faithful homecoming for Robocop fans. The demo immediately nails the franchise's exaggerated badass tone, and it's pumped to the gills with humor, violence, and all of the movie's callbacks you'd hope for. However, I'm curious to see how it's going to maintain Robocop's momentum to keep combat feeling fresh and introduce more of a challenge as players unlock new abilities and upgrades. I've only played through Rogue City's opening missions and didn't have a chance to test the game on different difficulties, but I was a bit disappointed that I didn't get to see a 
wider variety of enemies or face a I mean, well, threat yeah. that well, that's probably just because it's later in the game. Tools. That's why. While some of Robocop's abilities sound promising, it's difficult to predict how much of an impact they'll have on the game's combat loop without trying them against tougher enemies. After recently watching the movies, I yeah, was excited to I mean, step into the shoes of a powerful action hero and tear through Detroit. Robocop certainly feels I mean, I get, I get what so. he's saying. I'm concerned that simply bulldozing through enemies will lose its appeal quickly. I'm also intrigued by the idea of seeing more of Robocop's interactions with other police officers and the public. Ooh, but ooh. as of now, it's too early to be sure how deep Rogue City's choice system really goes. For more on Robocop Rogue okay. City, check out the latest trailer and for everything else. All right, first of all, shout out to IGN. Uh, second, listen, what I wanted to say was in the earlier trailers and earlier, you know, Robocop trailers, um, the gameplay was looking a little stiff, uh, in, in my opinion. I even said that, you know, in the trailer, you guys can go back and clarify. I said that, you know, th the game looks good, but it looks a little stiff. I can't lie. They did a really good job in this. Uh, now that we see like, you know, a lot of gameplay, uh, it looks fast. It looks, um, fluid, if that makes sense. Uh, and, and it simply just looks good. Um, they did a, a really good job on, on the looks. I'm really, I'm really, you know, listen, give a hand out to whoever, who was the, who was the development team behind this? Because they did a really good job on the looks. Even this trailer, uh, sorry, not trailer. This video is in 720. Brother, I can only imagine this game on a PS5 is going to look absolutely fire. Um, but, um, one thing that he said that I actually want to talk about is, um, you know, it is not being able to, um, it's not being able to test Robocop's actual ability against harder, you know, op uh, opponents or, you know, harder, um, enemies. Uh, I mean, honestly, oh, I just bit my tongue. That hurt. Honestly, um, probably it's because since you did play like the open admissions, I'm guessing they want you to like warm up and just make it and, and just see like how Robocop feels and like. It, it probably like takes like a little bit of you like getting used to it, if that makes sense and then you know you will hop in, into like you know him going up against like a hundred guys shooting at him at the same time and all you know, against like robocop type stuff so i mean other than that you know I'm, I'm really excited for it i love this right here the way this seat this right here bro the way that the, the um the police lights just flash off of his suit looks absolutely fire the way they did his suit hey Give a hand out to you guys, bro. This is perfect, bro. Honestly, this is per he got my lips too. This is perfect, bro. For real. Look at the first. Look at that, bro. Look at the blue. The blue. Oh my. <laughs> Again, listen. I'm a big graphics guy. So at the end of the day, this looks absolutely fire, bro. For real. I'm excited. I think this is coming out later in the year, by the way. So I mean, we will see. You know. Uh, well, obviously, you know, your boy's going to be there. So, we'll, you know, we'll see, uh, you know, the story mode and all this and all that. We'll see how it how it really, you know, works out. But um, but other than that, man, um, yeah, comment down below. What do you guys think of Robocop Rogue City? And, um, yeah, I'll see you later. For next one, I'm out. And 